Hello and welcome to Keep Information Systems Simple video on Microsoft Access. This first video is just going to be some very basics on creating a table and navigating Microsoft Access. The primary function that we need to remember for Microsoft Access is just that we're creating relationships so that we can get to the point of storing data in tables and running queries. But first and foremost, the, the basics of it. I've launched Microsoft Access and uh, it automatically opens up to a default table. On the left-hand side here, you can see all of your access uh, navigation tools. We can have tables, queries, forms, reports. We're going to, as we go through this session, we'll start to have more and more of these. The first thing I want to do, though, is I want to look at this existing table. By default, Microsoft Access opens up a table. We have several views that we can look at here. We can have our data sheet view, which is what we have here. This is where we'll see all the data. This will look very similar to an Excel sheet. But then we have design view. The design view is where we're going to be able to set up our tables the way we want to. Uh, in this scenario, we're going to do a college where they're going to have courses and professors and material required. So I want to switch my view. So I got to name my table. Uh, I'm going to give it table name courses. And so we'll use this table to identify all the different types of, of courses that we're going to have. Now, in here, we're having our field name. These are going to be our headers. Our headers or the titles for the columns in, in our sheet. Um, then we have our data type, and we'll look through our different uh, data types. And then we have our description, which is our metadata, the information about the data. Uh, what I want to do here, my first identifier, and most of these will have an identifier, is going to be course number. And I'm going to allow, I want to set this to be a very specific number. I do not want to allow Microsoft Access to just auto number it. So I want to say that I'm going to have a field named course number and the data type in there is going to be a specific number. I'm going to have a second field called course title and uh, data type will be short text. I'm going to put professor ID and make that short text and semester hours and make this a number. And when we take a minute here and we look through this, again, just like so many things, there's lots of different options here that you have to be able to understand and select. Uh, for this case, we're just doing this one table. And now I can come back and I can change my view back to the data sheet view. It's going to ask me if I want to save it. Click yes, it saves it. And now I have my data sheet view where you can see, again, I've got my course number course title, my professor ID, and my semester hours. And that's all you have to do to create a table is go through and just enter that in there. Um, in a little bit, we'll show you how to build fields so that you can, I'm sorry, we can build forms to enter data. If you are a DBA, you can enter data directly into here, but we're not going to do that at this point. So very simple um, to create a new table on top of the one that's there. We can come over to the tables access, click create and click table and it pops up our new table and we can go through the exact same steps. That's how you create a table in Microsoft Access.